guys, welcome back to my channel with Tip Mechanic. In this video, I'm going to show you how I repaired this completely dead miter saw that I got for free on Facebook Marketplace. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more DIY and tinkering videos. I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace when I came across this miter saw that was being given away for free. So I picked it up, and with that, I welcome you to the fourth episode of my series, Free on Facebook where I recycle, fix, and repurpose things that would normally be thrown away or left for the dump. I often get these things for free or very inexpensively priced. The description of the saw did not say whether it was working or not, but I guess that's a hidden surprise of picking up things for free. What was not hidden was the fact that it was covered with dirt and grime. But uh, before I spent too much time cleaning and uh, lubricating it up, I wanted to make sure that uh, it was even repairable or worth my time at all. To test it out, I, inspect, I first inspected the power cord for any nicks. This is just a uh, precaution to make sure I don't shock myself. Uh, then I squeezed the trigger. So yeah, um, it looks like uh, it's getting power, but definitely looks like it's continuing to spin a long time after I release this trigger. one more time. After a few squeezes of the trigger, it stopped working altogether. So after a couple of squeezes of the trigger, it just stopped working altogether. Um, it was pretty. It was a good for me that uh, initially it was started working, but it wouldn't stop. That kind of gives me an indication that. It's, probably the motor brushes so we'll take a look at that first right now it's not working at all if you have a miter saw that won't turn on initially I recommend checking to see if there is 120 volts coming in from the outlet then also make sure that, that there is 120 volts going from the trigger to the motor when it when it's switched on um, I went ahead and skipped this step because I just had the motor working a couple of seconds ago so I felt comfortable skipping this and going straight to the motor brushes. Okay, so this was spring loaded. Looks like this something is stuck in there. They should just come right out. I think the
But uh, to my luck, both of the motor brushes on this motor had seized up and would not come out. And they actually both broke off inside the motor. To get the brushes out, I had to uh, disassemble the entire motor slash the switch housing. Um, this is not as hard as it sounds because this is a universal motor with no speed controller. So all you have to do is really just keep track of the wires that are plugged into the switch. After separating the stator coil housing from the armature, I simply pulled out the brushes using my needle nose pliers. I suspect that the springs that are attached to the motor brushes had rusted up and that the brushes had then seized in position thus preventing them from making contact with the commutator. This lead, leads me to believe that the saw was probably stored outside. While I waited for the new brushes to arrive, I took the opportunity to clean up the buildup on the commutator. I used some penetrating oil and steel wool. Um, if there's a lot of buildup on the commutator, you can have uh, poor conductivity um, going into the rotor windings. After that, I used a nylon brush to clean the inside of the brush holders and dropped a couple of drops of oil on the rear bearing. After that, I put the motor back together and uh, rewired the, all the wires inside the switch housing. The new brushes cost me just a couple of dollars each. If I can get this miter saw working for around 10 bucks, then it is well worth it. Comparing the old brushes to the new brushes further supported my hypothesis that the cause of the saw not working was due to rust, not wear, because the old brushes are about the same size as the new ones. Anyways. I just installed the new brushes by simply inserting them into the brush holder and then screwing in the cap. Then I used some good old fashioned soap and water and elbow grease to clean up the miter saw. I did have to use some rust and lime remover on the battery holder for the laser because uh, it looked like the old batteries had leaked into the holder. Well, it looks like the laser works. Well, let's go see if the saw works as well. Alright, let's put this to the test. like a tank. Cut through that 2x4 in no time. It's, that's with that old blade as well. Who, who knows how dull that thing is. A hot knife through butter. Uh, I'm really happy with the motor performance. Um, this will serve as a backup miter saw 
or the saw that I give my friends when they need it. Um, because I already have a powerful miter saw and that's the one I automated in my previous video and I automated it so the vac a vacuum would automatically turn on and serve as a dust collection system. So make sure you check that out. The link is in the description below. Thank you.